Brick Addicts, Lego lovers, ladies and gentlemen and friends from all over the world. Today, we're gonna sticker the Apple Store. We got us a big one here, folks. A big one with lots and lots of stickers. So let's start by removing the roof and exposing more electronics than you can possibly imagine. So, personally, this is going to be my first time sticker in this set, and I'm excited. This is going to be fun. All right, let's get to it. This is one of my all-time favorite sets that we've ever done, and I'm pretty happy. This is going to be... Fun. It's going to be tedious. It's probably going to take a little while. But nevertheless, it's going to be fun. So, we usually start with the very front sticker right there. In fact, I'm not 100% sure where some of these stickers go. So, I'm going to have to guess. <laughs> Alright, I know where these go. These go on the big walls in here. And, hmm, can you say awkward? I'm gonna have to figure, you know what? I think I'm gonna take something that I don't like to do, but if I can here, I'm gonna pop off the front, at least part of it. Hmm. Gain a little bit more access here. I don't necessarily like to do this, but sometimes, you just got to. This is kind of a deep set, so it'd be kind of hard to uh, reach in for everything. All right, second official sticker. So now you've seen me do Walmart. Oh, let's see what you've seen me do. A lot of sets, post office, Walmart, a lot of sets, and. You know, you've also heard me say we don't like to uh, be exact or repeat the same type of thing twice. So, this is certainly the fact with this one. We, uh, we definitely have something completely different than normal with this set. And this is going to be a tricky sticker right here. Let's see if we can get lucky. Get it on and get it straight. You know what? I think we're going to do that. Let's see if we can line it up right here, then we might be good for all. Or let's try this. Let's try this. I don't normally do this either. That's how unique of a set this is. Completely different than this. I'm going to borrow this here for a minute. I'm going to get really creative. Sometimes we just got to do what we got to do, right? So here we go. Let's see. We got to make sure it's 100% straight. And I don't think we could have done that with that in there. All right. There we go. So now we'll pop that off. And pop it right on here. There we go. So there's the wall decor. And we're probably going to end up putting a uh, apple emblem up there, I think. Okay, so here's our apple store. Disassembled. <laughs> sort of. Why? Well, let's just say we've got good reason. Should we put the uh, rapid retail sticker there? Probably not. Probably not. Something else I do know where they go would be the computer monitors. So I'm going to pop these off just to be on the safe side. Make sure we get them straight. I tell you what, I think this is going to be a tough set to sticker. And believe it or not, sometimes we have customers who want a sticker their own sets. So more power to them. 
They must be good at stickering. Alright, let's see. Come on, baby. You can do it. Alright, I know this is going to be tedious. Alright, there is monitor numero uno. Okay. Let's go here, number two. We will go with the purple monitor. If I can get it off the sticker sheet. Now, what's your opinion? Which of our sets that you've seen me sticker... Oh, that one was easy. Which of our sets that you've seen me sticker do you think is the most tedious? Is it this one? Is it the Walmart, the Lego store? And I have filmed uh, stickering the Target store, but we haven't posted that one as of the timing of filming this particular video. So, okay, let's see. We've also got to put these little keyboards down. Can come off a of hair. I'll just pop these right on here for simplicity. Sometimes it's easier to do that. Alright, so here we go. Right over top, even though that's a printed piece. Covers it right up. Oh, this is, uh, this here proven to be pretty easy. I like that. I might redo that one here in a few minutes. And let's see. This is straight. That's not, uh, okay. There we go. There we go. Ultimately, it probably would have been easier just to pop those off. What next? I could ask you guys, what would you like to do next? Let's hold it straight, Dave. Okay. Let's see. Ah, those go on the very front of the building. I recognize those. Alright, let's pop this out. Let's do the... Credit card things, thingies, credit card machines. Which go like so. Just like that. Only he's got him facing the wrong direction. Okay. Um <laughs> there and then face it that direction perfect registers good old apple registers right there it takes a steady hand folks a steady hand which is kind of an acquired talent because the first few sets I stickered I didn't do so well and I think you guys could probably agree with that okay so we're gonna leave this out leave that on the side for now and let's see here's where we, we really get in to some detail as you get the uh, watches and the pot we're gonna pull this whole thing out if we can this whole section. There we go. I'll move the camera down. So, I uh, burnt my finger once again on the same eating gun that has gotten me before. Warning, heating guns are hot. Very Around this place, we have multiple uses for the heating gun. I'll stick that right there for now. 
zoom out a little bit. Okay, so AirPods. Oh, then we're going on easy. I like that. These are a piece of cake. Here, I was thinking we'd be here all day just doing the AirPods. Impressive. All right, now the, the lower ones. Multi-level. I guess this is representing. Oh. All right, come here. Come here. Here's a paper clip. Take a grab that. Does it stick to the table? The Adventures of Stickering the Lego Set. Really, it might just be easier to take the whole piece off, but we'll just do it like that. How about that? That worked. That worked out, and it's straight, which is the most important part. You got to have your sticker straight. It's not all the way back, so we're gonna fix that. I am a perfectionist. Just a little while. I'll fix that in a little while after the camera's been turned off. <laughs> okay, let's see. One more right here. Get it straight, mine. Okay, there we go. Use our trusty little paper clip to push down the edges. Looks good. Looking good. So. This represents just one box of AirPods or earbuds or whatever they call them, and this represents two sitting there. So that's a lot. All right, now the watches. Check that out. These look pretty easy as well. Right on there they go. Awesome. I, I don't want to say piece of cake and then start having trouble in other areas, you know? Alright, there. And Come on, last one. It's fighting with me. Well, I just noticed. A sticker came off. I must not have pressed it down enough. That one right there. Look at that. Little sneaky guy. Kind of hard to uh, press him down. Well, maybe not. <laughs> there we go. And anytime I put pressure on that finger, it hurts. I burn it good. Let's see here. So here's what we're looking at now. And I think these are the boxes that go on these shelves. I think. Because there's four of them. Oh yeah. So these represent iPads and boxes. And one time, this is a funny story. Are you ready? I'm going to sit down for this. One time, we built this set, and when they brought it to me, they had stickered it, and I noticed that a lot of the stuff was upside down. And um, so, one of the designers, who's not here anymore, and he shall remain nameless. He said, oh, well, he, well, anyway, he started pulling the stickers off. <laughs> and I'm like, um, so-and-so. Don't pull the stickers off, just pull the pieces off and turn the pieces around. Yeah, I must have a college education. 
come on, why isn't this going on? We want this to be the same height. There we go. All right. Didn't even see that, did ya? All right, got the watch, Airbud, and boxed. Sets out of the way. And we'll pull this up. This is going pretty good. I'm quite impressed. I'm quite impressed at how fast this is going. Okay, so these are going to be the boxes on the walls, which I'm assuming are going to be these. I probably should look and check, but I feel pretty confident. Plus, I've only seen this set about a million times. You know what? I should probably go with the proper colors though, right? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, you know, one, two, three, four, okay, I guess it could be either. Either one. Oh, purple. Let's go with purple. I'm learning this just like you. All right, a pinkish. So let's see. We don't have a red, so we'll go ahead and put that right there. How's that? Nope. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. There we go. Eh. I might redo those stickers here in a while. Turns that cut. Sometimes these stickers can be a little tough. Okay. Not straight, Dave. Not straight. It's not really either, but when I go back and maybe go through of the set. Okay, almost done with this little part. And that. And it looks like, looks like we might have an extra. Hmm. I don't know what to think about that. Let's see, lower level, oh, okay, I guess. So the lower level would be probably these. They're all the same size. And they're all of the same thing. And of course, as I mentioned, these are on here to represent just boxes of iPhones sitting on the shelf, waiting to be purchased by people like you and me. In fact, that's what I'm filming with right now, my phone. In fact, right now I am filming on an iPhone 7. Why? Because... Yesterday, I was going to do an absolutely epic, awesome video for you guys involving water, which I did film it. I filmed a video in water, using water, involved boats and planes and all kinds of cool stuff. And I used my iPhone 10 for the underwater scenes. And guess what? Well, let's just say Apple shouldn't be saying that it's okay to get your phone around water. I only had my phone in the water for probably under 30 seconds, and it's history. So, in fact, want to see a clip of that? I'll show you. So 
that was a clip from above water, of course, because it destroyed the phone. So I couldn't get the data or anything off of it. So all the what would have been cool underwater shots are gone, never to be seen. All right, so we got the uh, iPhone all done. And uh, yep, I uh, took the phone to Apple and they said, nope, it's got water damage, can't help you. I took the phone to uh, AT&T, which is my carrier. And they said, nope, can't help you. So basically I am resorting to using an old iPhone 7. All right, so now we get to the table. the uh, little intro from the actual Apple store, I was mentioning tables and how cool they were. All right, these are cool. I like these uh, stickers with the screen savers on them. These here are, of course, to represent iPhones being out on display. Takes a steady hand, takes some nerves, because it's very tedious doing this. But you know what? I'd be lonely if it wasn't for y'all being here with me. So thank you all so much for being here, hanging out while I sticker the Apple Store. Wanna be different? Let's throw one right here. Why? Because we can. <laughs> All right, there's another red one. Let's stick that right here. And you might say, well, why, why isn't that a red piece that's going on? Well, it doesn't have to be. In fact, I think we're out of the red pieces right now, oddly enough. Just gotta wait on the brake leak order. So all these phones are on uh, wallpaper mode, except for two. And there's that one. Display table. Voila, as they say. And this can be uh, adjusted. So you wouldn't really want them all straight because it kind of, uh, it's meant to represent um, you know, customers going in looking at them, stuff like that, so. All right, got a couple more here to go. Sometimes I forget to show you what I'm doing. Off here to the side, pulling stickers off. You know what? Let's pull this whole thing off here. Definitely easier to do that. Like that, just like that. Okay, and what we got? Got another these iPad. I was at the Apple Store today and filmed a bunch of videos. Nine forty-one. <laughs> I wonder if all these say that. And these here have to be centered perfectly, so I didn't want to stretch the screen for the uh, uh, this device for the uh, iPad. So we just kind of went with it. I don't like that there. That's. Fix that. I'll fix that when the camera's off. So anyway, we didn't want to stretch the picture, so instead we just decided to uh, do it this way. 
which, yeah, it leaves a little bit of overhang on the uh, side of the piece, but that's okay. It still looks all right, doesn't it? I think so. There's that, and okay, so since we are out of I had stickers, and we need one to go there, I'm thinking that this one. All right, so I pull that off of that, make it creative here, and we'll put that right on here. We're gonna have two identical iPads side by side. So instead of having an iPad on the table there, we're gonna have that because we just happen to have another iPhone. In fact, if I just got my wording mixed up, I meant to say we're gonna have another iPhone here instead of iPad. Sometimes it's easy to get words muffled. All right, let's put this one in here. Snaps right like that. This place is starting to come alive. Look at that. Not as tedious as I thought. In fact, aside from sticking some uh, stickers inside, we're almost done with the inside. So we'll put one up here. We put one on all of the walls. It kind of apples it up. <laughs> uh, I'm here all night. One right here. Oh yeah, that's maybe a little bit. That's really appled up now, isn't it? Sweet. Okay, now. If I remember right, I think that, you know what, that goes on the front. All right, so now we're gonna rebuild the front. Uh, let's see. Well, we know where the doors go, right? So, doors, these pieces. You didn't know you'd be uh, watching an assembly video today, did ya? Da, da, da. Let's see. Let's go here. here. Actually, that I think goes there. And where's the door? Why, there's the other door. So, there and there. Here we go. All right, just like that. Just like that. And each door gets an apple, just like the teacher gets an apple. We pretty much put apple, or we pretty much put uh, stickers for whichever brand we're doing on all of the doors for each of the sets. Example being that the Lego store has Lego, Walmart has Walmart, etc. So, all right, best way to fit this on just like that. Now, when we were designing this set, we thought about literally making the whole entire front to be completely clear, I decided not to make a little change here, give it a little bit more stability, and that goes there, and okay, now we got a couple front window displays, so let's see, you know what, I think I'm off on the front, uh oh, I rebuilt that wrong, let me fix that real quick off camera and we're back that fast <laughs> what I did is I uh, slid it to the edge of the table 
I push the bottom down off of it just enough to pop those out. So now we're straight on there and then we are ready for these. I'm trying to think if the Apple store I was at today had stuff in the windows. I can't remember. Alright, oops, that's not straight. It's kind of a toughie to get straight. Because normally you're going by the tops. So looks good though. Hmm. What should we do with these? Nothing, maybe? I think that looks pretty cool. All right, everybody. What do you think of that? That is one stickered Apple Store. Pop it off there and have a look. All right, the Apple Store has been stickered. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please click like down below. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Please share the video with your dogs, your cats, your mom, your dad, your kids, your aunts, your uncles. Also, if you are into vlogs and cool stuff like that, click right there. And if you are into highly detailed Lego sets, things like that, click over there. And we will see all of you in the next Brick Addict video. Thank you so much for watching.